Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and in today's tip show, we're going to be looking at signals for HomeKit. Signals can control HomeKit lights, just lights, nothing else. The purpose behind signals is to send a signal using your lights. This is using flashing or pulsing or similar options, including colors. Let's dive in. The first time you open signals, you'll need to grant it access to your home data. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to control your lights. I'll just tap OK here. Now, to start with, it will load your default home. And if your home looks empty like this, it might be that you've got multiple homes available. If that's the case, tap on the home icon at the top and make sure you switch to the right home. This is a problem that pops up every once in a while. If maybe you played around with the home app before you set up a smart home and somebody else in the home is the owner of that home. Now you'll see here, I've got my rooms and I've got devices in them, but my hallway has more than just a hallway overhead light. And similarly, my bedroom has more devices than what's listed right here. But Signals is about controlling your lights. So don't worry if you can't see everything else. As you scroll down, then you'll be able to see everything and you'll also see what colors different lights are. Let's go ahead and select one of my lights so that I can actually control it for you. Now, in this particular case, I would recommend using signals with a color light. It does work really well with white lights or ambient lights, but the purpose of sending signals is to communicate. And most of us humans do love color as a way to do that. I'm going to use my underbed light. It's a Meros light strip. To do anything with it, you could just tap the three dots in the top right hand corner, and then it opens a view similar to this. Now you can see that there are effects that we can do. And you can also just run an effect. Now, on your screen, you won't see that it's doing anything. So I recommend going and sitting in the room where your light is. Then I would see the light strip flash for 3.5 seconds in a red color. As well as flashing, there's also pulsing, which is similar to flashing, but with longer bursts of color. And there's also hold, which just sets a light to a specific color for a period of time and then back. All of these options have two settings, time and color. First of all, let's explore time. By default, signals uses 3.5 seconds. And that's how long it will do whatever the effect is. You can increase this all the way up to five seconds or decrease it to one second. Personally, I found with experimentation that 3.5 seconds, signals default suggestion, is actually really good. Our next option is using color. If you toggle this off, then the light will use whatever the previous color was. If you turn it on though, then you can select a specific color by tapping on it. I'm going to select green. Now I can say done. Perfect. Now, once again, I can run the effect and I see my bedroom lights flashing. Now comes the really cool part. You can save this as a signal. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.